Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shegu Obaje. Thank you for viewing the Sphere of Grace. I really appreciate that. I want to hear from you. Send in your questions, your prayer requests. Send in your testimonies as well to the address on the screen. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Today, we're considering the subject that Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. Now, what is the curse of the law? If you read Deuteronomy chapter 28 and you start the reading from verse 14, it talks about the curse that comes as a result of not keeping the entire law of Moses. And there are a lot of curses there. If you read through from 14 to the end of that chapter, you will realize that that's the curse of the law that Christ hath redeemed us from. Praise God. One of the blessings of Abraham is justification by faith. You know, a man who does not fulfill all of the dictates of the law, the Bible says the man is cursed. But you see, the blessing of Abraham exempts you from the curse of the law. Galatians chapter 3, and verse 13, it says, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. The us there speaks of the man in Christ. If you're born again, you have been exempted from the curse of the law. You have been exempted from lack, from poverty, from sicknesses and diseases. You have been exempted from fear and oppression and terrorism. You have been exempted from all that because Christ hath Notice it didn't say he shall redeem you or will soon redeem you from the curse of the law. It says Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us for it is written, Cursed is anyone and everyone that hangeth on the tree. The tree there speaks of Calvary. That's the cross of Calvary. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles and that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ and that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. One of the manifestations of the curse of the law is disfavor. Christ has redeemed you from disfavor. Listen, beloved, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, understand that you've been redeemed from disfavor. Therefore, I declare that the favor of God is upon you. There is no such thing of called disfavor around you anymore. I declare that you are favored of God in all that you set your hand upon to do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is time to start enjoying the favor of the Lord. The man in Christ has been redeemed from the curse of the law and the curse of disfavor is gone from him. You can receive that blessing right now as you activate it in your life. Declare it with your mouth and say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I am highly favored of God. I have been redeemed from the curse of the law. Therefore, whatsoever I lay my hands upon to do prospers in the name of Jesus Christ. I am a city set upon the hill that cannot be hidden. I am a tree planted beside the rivers of waters. I bring forth my fruit in season because I delight myself in the Lord and I meditate on his word regularly. And because Jesus is the Lord of my life and I know that I have been redeemed from the curse of the law and I have been redeemed from disfavor. Praise God. Amen. You are highly favored of God. Amen. Say that with me. I am highly favored of God. The favor of God is upon my life. The curse of the law is broken and I am blessed with the everlasting blessing of Abraham and I walk in the fullness of God's plan for me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe you've received the word of the Lord today and you're blessed by the word of the Lord. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. So the faith of God is released to us through his spoken word. When you hear God speak to you, faith is imparted unto you. Now, how do you release the faith of God that has been imparted unto you, having heard God speak to you? You must speak what God has said concerning you. Oh.